Jason, what were you about to say before? I, I was going to say, if you question. couldn't, if you, if you didn't know already from the intro, Shai, Shai used to be a stand-up comedian in LA. Yes. I actually am a You man didn't tell me that many. when we talked before. So there's a lot I didn't tell you about. <laughs> because my wife was looking at me like, we got three kids, we got to put to bed, you better. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I actually doubled in a lot of things before I found my what I'm actually good at, which is art. Everything else is just throwaway talent. Uh, yeah, I, I dabble. It's funny because everything, I, what I realized is, I reflected on this recently, which is whatever it is I try, even if I try it as kind of like, I just want to try this, I end up getting myself into a point where I'm like, wow, I'm actually doing pretty all right. And I remember this, the same thing with, with stand up is that I was like, I'm just going to like dabble with stand up. And I went in, I did a few shows and he like in a test, I ended up uh, performing at both the improv and uh, the comedy store in LA, which if anybody's ever been to LA or to any of these, they know that that's the place where you go see places. Like that's where Seinfeld got a start, where Rock got a start, like even Dave Chappelle has performed there. Those are like the notable places. I've heard um, of it out here on the yeah. East Coast. And, and, and the improv and the, the comedy store are, are such a signature spot to perform as a comedian. And I actually remember one evening, and I think it was the time Hilal was with me there in the audience, um, <clears throat> I ended up uh, being on, on the roster with Chris Rock's brother coming up as the headliner at the end. And it was one of those moments where I kind of realized like, I wasn't even being serious about, I was just doing, <laughs> I was working as a graphic designer at Wells Fargo and was doing this on a Thursday evening for fun. And somehow it ended up becoming what it was. I don't know how. I'm not that funny, according to my kids. Uh, but I'm not <laughs> sure <laughs> uh, how I ended up there, but uh, yeah, it was a it was a good run. And I'll let you. It, I, it's funny because uh, <clears throat> I always do this sometimes with clients. Is this famous uh, two truths and a lie thing? Um, and I always say, here's here's the three things, and you have to decide which one's the lie. And I say, at one point in my career, I've met the queen of Sweden. Um, I used to be a background dancer for NSYNC and I used to do comedy stand-up. And usually people who know my personality say, well, clearly you're a comedy stand-up. The queen thing, maybe the lie must be, I don't know. Jim, what do you think is the lie here? If I you have say to this, I, I was going to say the second one. The second one, yeah. Ironically, all those things are true. I actually was <laughs> dancing for anything at one point. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, it's it's something I don't talk about too much these days because I have a credibility as a street artist and dancing for Justin Timberlake might not be necessarily the, the best route to go to keep that street cred. But uh, yeah. Can, can okay, you, so, uh, oh, go ahead, Jim. I was, I was going to say, you mentioned three things there, you know, being an artist, well, actually four things. Meeting the Queen of Sweden, being an artist, working at Wells Fargo, and trying out stand up. Like, I mean, yes. that's quite the journey. Like, it's quite a journey. Yeah. How did you get to ultimately here? Like, what oh, did Jesus. you learn along the way with each of those things? So, uh, all those things I think happen on accident. I should start by saying that uh, it's all accident and it's all just, you know, stars aligning, whatever you want to call it, destiny or or luck or whatever you believe in. <laughs> um, I believe in hard work pays off. Uh, but, but it, you know, whatever you put out there comes back to you kind of thing. Um, but my, the long story version. <laughs>